Welcome back to 5 Minute Knives, the channel that lives and dies by the blade. Today, we're going to talk about what I believe is my new favorite EDC fixed blade currently, the Topps Ice Dagger. But first, let's try to sell you guys one of my custom Kydex sheaths. Okay, let's talk about the Topps Ice Dagger. Now, first of all, I want to thank Topps for sending this in. This is a knife that I've been eyeballing for some time, and I never really pulled the trigger on this knife, didn't buy it, because I didn't really know exactly what my use for it would be. It seemed a little big for EDC, it seemed a little impractical for EDC tasks, and it seemed a little on the stubby side for tater digging. So I thought, nah, maybe not for me, and I kind of let it go. But Topps has been very cool, and sometimes they comment on our videos here, and they really appreciated my pig sticker review that I did. They also sent me the Devil's Claw 2, uh, which actually went to a friend. I really like that knife a lot. Very cool EDC uh, Hawkbill style knife, Karambit. But, you know, it didn't become my EDC, and um, then I started doing patrol, which by the way guys, I'm no longer doing patrol. I know that was short-lived, but I'm on a different assignment now. And it's a lot safer for the most part. You know, you could say that l I will see a lot less action, but if I do see any action, it's really bad. So that's kind of the, like the security work I'm doing now. Something a little, I don't know, a little more day in, day out monotony. But if things do go south, uh, I'm in a world of hurt. So, you know, definitely some tater digging to be had if anyone misbehaves on my current assignment. Put it that way. So, that being said, that's where this sunbridge came into play. Actually, it was while I was doing patrol that I started carrying this. And the reason I was carrying it is because I was generally in the patrol car, and it was hard for me to get to my mechanism, my Glock 19 Gen 5 for work, and, um, you know, certain taters would approach the car all the time, and I could never tell if they were hostile or not. I didn't know if they were coming over to, uh, you know, give me a hard time or read me my horoscope. I couldn't tell which. So I got this on a bitch. I'm going to roll in a uh, picture now of how I used to rock this on my belt. This came with a couple of uh, soft loops, and the sheath was a little bit different when it arrived. For example, it was much more squared off here, okay? And that really poked into my legs. It's not a bad sheath, it's very serviceable. And the soft loops worked fine. It was just a little on the wide side to be wearing scout carry in the front, which is how I envisioned myself wearing it. So what I did was I put a combat loop here and offset this sucker like this on my belt. So in front of my armor, this was sitting like so. So mechanism here, right? OC spray here, taser here if you can fit it. And then right here was my top size stagger, okay? And you can draw like so. So there's the blade. Now this is one of the few knives I would recommend holding in a reverse grip because of the ring. Once you're in the ring, you're in the ring. You're good. So you could punch down with this, and that's kind of how I would draw it. So it did come in handy one night, uh, truth be told. I did not poke a tater with it. However, a tater did approach my vehicle, and he reached inside my patrol car, and I freaked out. Because I had no idea what he was doing. He gave me no advance notice. He just reached in the car. So I grabbed his forearm, and I pulled this out. And I had this at the ready, and he started freaking out because I was going to poke his arm <laughs> with it. He said, no, 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 I'm just trying to shake your hand. I said, back up. So he backed up. I resheathed the ice dagger. I dropped the hood on my mechanism because that's level three retention. You got a little hood on there. As a matter of fact, here's my duty belt with the mechanism, as you can see like this. So from there, I just dropped the hood like so, and I quickly got out of the vehicle with my hand on my weapon. And he complied, he was cool. Turns out he was just a little inebriated and just wanted to say hi to your boy, which is fine, but he almost got a dastardly poke in the uh, forearm with the ice dagger, and I was really grateful I had it. Uh, I didn't really have time for much else. So when you really don't have time for anything else, you find this ring in the dark, and then boom, she's out. So I did make some modifications to the sheath. I added some eyelets here, as you can see. Uh, it doesn't really come that way, and it comes with the soft loops, like I said. Plus, it's a bit more squared off. So now that I'm not doing patrol anymore, I made my own sheath for this sombrich. And here she is there, and I just put uh, one of Matt's leather uh, loops from Magnum Works. I know, kind of crossing, crossing my streams here. But he's making me an EDC fixed blade that I can't wait to get. He's making me one of the deadfalls. I should be getting it soon, so I'll make a video on that. But I made this in uh, carbon fiber and blood red to match the red liners here 
And here's the, um, so this is the way I kind of carry this around the house. I no longer use this, but I have it as a, as a backup. And in my current position, I can't wear this with my current detail. So that's okay. This can go underneath. This can go wherever. But in my private time around the house, I carry this all over the place. So still love this knife. Still rocking it everywhere. Actually matches my my watch as well, which I love. So I don't know. I just think that this is such a badass knife. Now, if you want the specs on it, the overall length is 7.75 inches. Here's the blade itself. I know, big wind up. Somebody in the comments is gonna say, he doesn't start talking about the knife till 5.30. It's an entertainment show, you some rich. If you just want the specs, just go to the website and look at the specs while you're watching my show, okay. 7.75 inches overall length. The blade length is exactly three inches, which makes this pretty much legal in most places, okay? Especially when you can have double-sided. The cutting edge is 2.75 inches. Blade thickness is 0.13 inches, 1095 steel, which is plenty fine for this style of implement. So it's a 56 to 58 Rockwell. And the grind is flat. And they did a really good job making this symmetrical. It really doesn't matter which way I sheath this knife. I get the same retention on either side. And generally with daggers, you do notice some wonkiness depending on the manufacturer. The handle length is 4.75 inches. Handle thickness is 0.45. It's a G10 handle with a red liner. And the overall weight is 4.42 ounces, which makes it feel a little tank-like, which I actually really like. And uh, it's good for ambi. It's good for either grip. And it's not like perfect in any one way. I mean, the scales are really flat. You have the double guard there, you know, so the ring might dig into you a little bit like so. It's not like perfect. It's just fun. It's a fun knife. It's like one of the few like, dare I say, fidget knives that's a fixed blade. But I always want to play with this knife. I always want this on me. I really love the jimping at the uh, leading up to the cross guards here. I really like this like milled out section. It's just well thought out. I love how it's reinforced at the end here. So you get kind of a thicker point. I mean, this is a bad man pajama, dude. This is for real. There's your attitude adjustment ring. Hourglass kind of wasted handle. You know, just really nice like swells in the handle here and tapering off smartly. Very comfy in the hand. I usually get my pinky in there and I feel comfy. And then also one of the few knives I really like in the reverse grip as well. This is just an overall winner. I, I think it's just a beautiful knife. This one I'm definitely keeping for myself. A lot of knives go to my friends or active duty people, but I am definitely keeping this for myself, especially with the sheath I made. I absolutely adore this knife. Tops, thank you so much. I mean, is this knife for you guys? I don't know. I really don't. Uh, I can't say whether or not you'll find a ton of use uh, for it or whatever. But you collectors out there and you guys who like your tater digging implements, uh, this would go ideally on a vest, uh, something like that. I mean, uh, reference the photo I just put up. This was on my duty belt doing patrols. It was really freaking nice for that. Tops, uh, law enforcement, they love this knife. I can tell you that. Got a lot of nice comments on it. So, And taters absolutely hate it. They always stare at this when I was talking to them. You come up on a junkie, drug dealer, something like that, and they're kind of hostile with you. I find that their eyes fall to this thing and even though I'm wearing a mechanism, they tend to fear this more. For whatever reason, something about a knife really freaks people out. So, you know, this is a last ditch item. Don't get me wrong. But at the same time, I really liked having it on me. And it definitely gave me some peace of mind in the field. So Tops, thank you so much. And it did come handy on two occasions while at work. So you guys may have even saved my butt in some way. And uh, I'm just very appreciative for Tops. I'm becoming a Tops fanboy, guys. You know, and I don't care if that bothers you guys. I really love their designs. I love their knives. I mean, what do I want a review of theirs next? I don't know, but I'm not going to bother them anymore. They've been more than generous. They sent me a couple of knives for free. And Blade Ops, of course, is sending me a bunch of their stuff. So, I don't know. Tops, Blade Ops, both you guys. I really appreciate your companies. If you want to send me anything in the future, you have the updated address. Please do so. Just email me first to make sure you have the information correct. But, um, I couldn't be more happy with this blade. I really love this knife, guys. Can you tell? Let me know what you think in the comments of this knife, whether or not you own it or thinking about owning it, what your intended uses for it would be because I really just use this for a defense implement and it's just on me. It actually fits really nice in a side 511 pocket and or on my belt in a scout carry configuration like so, you know, my civilian time. So I just think this is great. But anyway, enough gushing. I know I rambled long enough, but um, I'm not going to tell you guys whether or not you should buy this knife. I'm just telling you how happy I am that I own it and I'm never giving this knife up. So thank you so much, Tops, and thank you guys for watching, and we will see you next time on 5-Minute Knives.